Hello and welcome to Talk. Let's Talk Funds. Hemant Rustagi joins us. Thanks, Hemant, for coming by. Like always, uh, we have our first viewer waiting by to ask his question, Sardesh Kumar. He's from New Delhi. Hi, Sardesh. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, good afternoon to you. Yes. Tell us. Uh, hi. Uh, I have a small question, actually. Uh, I'm new to mutual fund. Right. And I have a total of like uh, 2,000 rupees per month investment uh, in mutual okay. fund. Okay. I'm not sure where to invest and how to get good returns. It's a short-term investment close to like two or three years. Mm -hmm. So can you suggest me some? Okay. You're 23 years old. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that a mutual fund is not a short-term investment avenue. Uh, you should not be coming into a mutual fund, Sardesh, with a short-term view. If you are looking at building wealth over a period of time, you are only 23, you are at the right age to start investing. I must compliment you for that. But you need to let your money work its way over many, many years. Okay, you are starting with 3,000, 2, 3 years. Sorry, this is not a stock that you are picking, that you look for 2, 3 years and see if you can make gains on that. All right? Uh -huh. uh, okay, Hemant, he's got 3,000 rupees. He wants to start investing. What would you advise him? Well, we think the important thing is that, you know, the time horizon is two to three years and the fact that the money is being invested through SIP, which clearly means that, you know, he shouldn't be looking at investing predominantly in uh, equities because uh, this is not the time horizon for investing in equity. But fortunately, there are other options that are available from the mutual fund that can basically, you know, suit his requirement, especially because his time horizon is two to three years. If he's looking for healthy return and also tax efficient return, uh, you know, at best he can look at, you know, debt oriented hybrid funds or asset allocation fund. Now, in the debt oriented hybrid funds, he can look at uh, schemes like monthly income plan. These are typically schemes which invest around 80 to 85 percent in uh, a debt instrument, the balance in equities. Uh, there he can look at, you know, HDSC, MIP long term. Uh, in the asset allocation category, now these are the funds basically that you know, sell, they sell equities when the markets are going up and buy when the markets are down. So basically there you have a fund called FT India Dynamic PE Fund. But I must tell him that, you know, oh, both these funds have some exposure to equity. So they can be a little volatile. If he's not willing to take any risk at all, then he has to look at pure debt funds, uh, wherein he can look at, uh, because he's investing on a monthly basis, he can't look at funds like FMP but he can look at uh, short-term debt funds, which will give him maybe slightly better return than what he's getting in the bank and more tax efficient. Yes, but Sardesh, our advice to you would be you're only 23 years old and unless mm -hmm. and until you have a serious problem with taking risk, I really think you should be in a good equity scheme for the long run. And when I say long run, 10 to 15 years if you're trying to build wealth over a long period of time. Okay? All right. Thank All right. You. See you. Karthik from Bangalore now joins. He's 22 years old. Hi, Karthik. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. It's such a nice thing that I'm speaking to you, first of all. And, I'm also uh, very happy to know, talk to you. In Bangalore, you must know, perhaps, uh, there is a set of friends of mine who celebrate you, sir. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. How can we help you, Karthik? Sir, I've started investing around 7,000 rupees in mutual funds, and uh, I have diversified the money into four funds. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them are the small and mid-cap funds. Uh, okay. One is uh, DSP BlackRock Small and Mid-Cap Fund and IDFC Small and Mid-Cap Fund. Mm -hmm. I'm investing 1,000 rupees each into these funds. Mm -hmm. And 3,000 rupees of my money is going into uh, I, uh, ICICF Prudential Discovery Fund. Mm -hmm. Alongside, uh, I'm also investing into uh, around 2,000 rupees in uh, Reliance Small Cap Fund. Okay. This is how I have diversified uh, my systematic investment plan. Okay. of 7,000 rupees. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to know if I'm on the right track because okay. my time horizon is around 30 years. And right. uh, if I am just, uh, if I just start uh, putting my mon money into these funds and uh, after five or six years, if I realize that the track I have chosen is wrong, mm -hmm. that would be a bigger disappointment. So I just right. want to know if I'm on the right track. Okay, my first uh, opinion, and I'll toss it to Hemant Karthik, but my first opinion is you're not exactly on the right track. And the reason being, uh, you know, you've got almost 4,000 out of 7,000 of yours invested in the small cap, mid cap space. And I think that's a bit too much. Uh, you are very young. You can take a mid cap exposure. You should be taking a mid cap, small cap exposure. But I think three out of your four schemes are in that space. And that's not such a good idea, right? Uh, it should be balanced a little bit more uh, in terms of the mix between small and mid cap and a good large cap diversified equity fund. That would be my first reading of your portfolio. But uh, that's not such a big issue because uh, you've got decent schemes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the schemes you have, but the mix, I'm a little concerned with Himanth. 
Yeah, absolutely, Vivek. I think let me begin with the positives in this portfolio. One is the strategy of investing through SIP uh, is, is perfect, especially for someone who wants to build capital through smaller contribution on a monthly basis. Uh, and this time horizon of 30 years, just perfect for equity. I mean, you know, the more you allow your money to remain invested in the market, the more you benefit from power of compounding. So I think as far as the strategy is concerned, it's, it's perfect. And as you rightly mentioned, the funds which are there in the portfolio are good quality. But the problem is, this is too aggressive in a portfolio, basically, especially for someone, as I said earlier, who's looking to build capital through smaller contribution. My recommendation would be that at best you can keep one mid-cap fund because there are three mid-cap and small cap, and the fourth one, which is ICICI Discovery, is also a value fund, which is very aggressive and falls in the same category. So all the funds are very, very aggressive. As we know, equity as an asset class is quite aggressive. We don't really have to make portfolio very aggressive. It's true that, you know, we always talk about high risk, high reward, but it doesn't always work in favor of investors. So my recommendation would be, at best, you can keep one mid-cap fund, which is DSV small and mid-cap, where he's investing around a thousand rupees. You can continue doing that, because I believe that mid-cap funds do have a role to play, but in a limited way. The remaining 6,000, he can divide into two funds. One is a pure large-cap fund, which could be ICICI-focused blue-chip fund, and the other one could be a multi-cap fund. Here again, predominantly investing in large cap and 40% into small and mid cap, which is HDFC equity. So 3,000 in ICFC focus, 3,000 in HDFC equity, and 1,000 in DSP small and mid cap. I think that would be the ideal mix for him. He should continue investing for 30 years. As and when he tries to increase the amount, maybe then he can look at increasing his exposure to the mid cap fund. But as of now, this should be the mix in the portfolio. Did you get that, Karthik? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, but I have one more small question, sir. Sure. Uh, I, in other few years, uh, perhaps, if I start investing into the mutual fund itself, I have heard that uh, most of my money gets filtered uh, and it will be uh, distributed amongst the fund managers for some reason, probably as a commission or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, in, just to avoid this, is it possible that I start investing uh, directly into the equity market uh, through my DMAT account uh, so that I reduce uh, the amount that is getting filtered and instead uh, start getting more returns directly by investing into equity and okay. in a systematic investment fund? All right. Uh, my, my thought on that is, and I'll get Hemant to comment on that. That's a good question you're asking, Karthik. My own point is that uh, it's not as if the cost that you're bearing if you invest through a mutual fund is in any way more than if you go directly. Here you will have to pay, uh, you know, that entry load which has come back now in the form of 100 rupees. But when you go and buy stocks directly, you also pay a brokerage. Don't forget that, right? So it's not a cost versus cost issue. Should you be buying directly in equity? Yes, if you have the time, the patience, the ability to pick stocks on your own. Uh, you're a student, you're only 22. If you have the time to research and buy into good stocks, nothing wrong with that. So it's not an either or or. You keep this portfolio going. This can uh, you know, allow the fund managers to deliver you wealth. If you want to pick stocks directly, please go ahead, provided you have the right research and the right time that you can devote and understand it. All right? Hemant, am I right? Yeah. Well, yes, Vivek. I think, uh, let me just clarify here. The transaction charges that we're talking about, as and when they're applicable, will be happening only for transaction about 10,000, first thing. And if you look at expenses overall, uh, you know, in equity funds, basically the maximum that a fund would charge you is 2.5% which includes all the expenses, that is the management fees, uh, custodian charges, r and charges, investor communication, commissions, everything. And that is only for the first 100 crores. And once the fund goes beyond 900 crore, the fund charge is only 1.75. So I don't think the charges are very high. And the NAV that is announced is after the expenses. So for a long-term investor who is investing for 15, 20, 30 years, I think uh, charges of around 1.75 or 2% is, is not too high. What you get in return is professional money managers, and you have, you know, investors, uh, fund manager looking at your money 24 hours. Uh, you get expertise. You get, uh, you know, different kind of options, uh, tax efficiency, uh, flexibility. So I think as a package, mutual fund definitely is, is a very good option. Okay, Karthik. Thank you very much. Sir. All right. Much, 30 Vivek. years later, you will be a multimillionaire. And then you remember yes, us. Sir, sir. Okay. I'm, I'm right. hoping for the best. You Thank will. You. I'm sure you'll do well. Bye-bye, Karthik. See you. Okay, let's slip into a short break. Uh, market still as weak as it was, 240 points down on the Sensex. Now the Nifty is broken 54.50 as well. It's 54.46 now. Back in just a bit. Welcome back to Top Funds. Let's head across to Harish Gandhi from Baruch in Gujarat. Hi, Harish. Good afternoon. Hi, hello, hello. 
हाउ आर यू गुड आफ्टरनून सर हाँ थोड़ा टीवी अपना आप कम कर दीजिए प्लीज म्यूट पे कर दीजिए टीवी का वॉल्यूम कर दिया कर दिया हाँ पूछिए हरीश जी क्या सवाल है आपका आज से मैंने ना लगभग साढ़े तीन साल पहले जेएम कंपनी जो आती है ना जेएम जी उसके अंदर साढ़े तीन साल पहले तीस हजार रूपये का इन्वेस्ट किया था जी वो एग्री एंड इंफ्रा फंड के नाम से लॉन्च हुआ था फंड म्यूचुअल फंड था ओके वो तीन वर्ष तीन साल का लॉकिंग पीरियड था उसके अंदर ओके तो मैंने तीस हजार रूपये डाला था अब तीन साल उसका खत्म हो गया है तो अभी हमारी एनएवी कितनी हुई लगभग सात के आसपास हमारा हाथ पैसा आता है तो कंपनी वालों ने वो फंड बंद कर दिया क्लोज कर दिया तो सारे हमारे जितने पैसे थे वो यूनिट एक उनके दूसरी फर्म थी जेएम बेसिक फंड उसके अंदर कन्वर्ट कर दिए उन लोगों ने ओके जिसमें हमारी सम्मति ली गई थी पर अब मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ कि साढ़े तीन साल हो गए हमारी कैपिटल जो तीस हजार थी अब हमारे हाथ में अभी बेचने जाऊँ तो सात के सात आता है तो अभी मैं करूँ क्या उस टाइम जब मैंने इन्वेस्ट किया था तब सत्रह हजार मार्केट चल रहा था अब सात मार्केट आ गया सात हजार वापस इक्कीस आया फिर भी हमारी एन नहीं बढ़ी तो इन लोगों ने राइट हेमंत कमिन ऑन दिस ही हैज अ फेयरली डिफिकल्ट चॉइस टू मेक देर ही वेंट इन टू अ सेक्टोरल फंड वेंट एंड पुट लमसम एट अ टाइम वेन यू नो पर हैप्स जस्ट अराउंड द टाइम एन द मेल डाउन हैपन एन द मार्केट्स केम डाउन ही वॉज इन एन एस आई पी एंड देर फोर कुड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट द वॉलिटिलिटी वुड हैव वर्क विद हिम इफ ही हैड द एस आई पी Thirty uh, thousand down to seven thousand. He's moved to JM Basic Fund by his consent. What should he be doing? Well, I think Vivek. Uh, typically, what happens is, uh, you know, as he as he mentioned, this was <coughs> a three-year close-ended fund. Now that is a basic flaw in the close-ended fund. You know, because what happens in a close-ended fund? You know, the sale is open for a fixed period, and thereafter, you know, there is a limited exit from the fund. Now this was launched at a time when the markets were doing quite well. Uh, now what typically happens is that you know these are the fund which, which which basically were investing in small and mid cap companies now uh, when the fall happened obviously these stocks uh, fell much more than the large cap and the problem in a mid cap is because the fund manager does not get fresh money he is not able to average it out and if he is fully invested then he he just has to wait and see where the market takes the nav and this is what typically happens in this fund now the 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 fund has given the option of converting this into switching this into uh, jm basic which again is one of the fund which was doing well when the markets were doing very well but hasn't done well in the last two years so my recommendation would be that at this stage he will have to make a difficult choice of exiting from this yes it is true that the value of uh, you know his investment is today 7000 what he needs to see is where are the options where is an opportunity for him to grow this 7000 again i don't think that can happen in a fund like jm basic he should exit from that look at an aggressive diversified fund which has a consistent performance track record like hdfc equity so i think he should exit from this and invest in hdfc equity and try and see if he can invest in the same fund through systematic investment plan so what will happen is he has 7000 there plus if he can invest a couple of thousand every month or even if he can invest only 1000 per month over a period of time i think there will be a better opportunity and better chance that he can recover his losses okay harish that's a view coming in for you not very good news for you but never too late you can always move that 7000 that you have into an hdfc equity that's what hemant recommends and if you can add 1000 a month then you can in the same scheme do an sip as well okay we slip into a short break now we return to answer other mutual fund queries of yours in just a bit Welcome back. 250 points down on the Sensex. 5444. We're still below that 5450 mark. Uh, so it is a week day. We've got about an hour and 10 minutes to go. Let's see if there is any dramatic change. But right now, we seem to have settled into that range. Muiz Ansari from Mumbai. He is an engineer. He has a question. Hi, Muiz. Hi, Muiz. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Muiz Ansari. Good afternoon. How are you? Great. Alhamdulillah. Karam. जी और आपको बहुत बहुत मुबारक हो आज से आपके रोजे शुरू हो जाए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपके लिए भी हम दुआ करेंगे सबके लिए दुआ करेंगे हम जरूर थैंक यू इंडिया इंडिया के लोगों के लिए हम दुआ करेंगे जरूर मोहित भाई बोलिए क्या सवाल है आपका आई एम फोर्टी सिक्स ऑफ फूल आई इन्वेस्टेड इन थ्री म्यूचुअल फंड राइट तो एच डी एफ सी टॉप टू हंड्रेड एच डी एफ सी इक्विटी एंड सुंदराम बी एन पी परिवार सिलेक्ट मेट कैप ओके आई इन्वेस्टेड फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज ईच 
mm-hmm. in all the three, that is 12,000 rupees is a monthly outgo. Right. I got another 14 years of retirement. Okay. So how much will be my corpus after 14 years? I'm working for a public sector undertaking. Okay. All right. Well, I think, uh, uh, Moiz, uh, first thing first, I think all the three schemes that you've chosen are very good schemes. Uh, yeah. Most experts who have come on this show have uh, talked about these three schemes. Uh, mm-hmm. So I don't think your selection of schemes is wrong. Uh, the good thing is you're doing an SIP and you're continuing and you have a 14-year kind of a time frame. It's yes. very difficult to say how much will you get because, as you know, mutual fund returns are not guaranteed. Yes. But what can uh, be safely assumed, uh, and of course every expert has their own uh, measure that they go with, but if you take a 12 to 15 percent kind of a return that you can yes. expect, yes. Uh, I'll uh, toss it to Hemant, who can then better guide you on what to expect. Uh, Hemant? Yeah, I think uh, I would like to say first, you know, a very good portfolio. All the three funds, as you rightly mentioned, are of high quality. And the best thing is, you know, ideal combination. You have one large cap, one mid cap, one, one small and mid cap. So I think it's a fantastic portfolio. And I think every investor who is looking to invest through SIP should follow this kind of strategy. So my congratulations to him to really uh, work out a very good portfolio. Uh, if you look at a 14-year time horizon, uh, I think you can expect around 15% uh, annualized return. And uh, based on that, if you really do a calculation, he should be having a corpus of around 62 lakhs after 14 years, uh, provided he continues to invest in these funds for the next 15 years. Okay, Moise. Okay, sir. thank Does you very much. Sound good? Hmm? Thanks. You can Thanks, get more also, but let's see how the markets behave. Only 62 lakhs I will get? Only 62 lakhs? Okay. Only a month? <laughs> how do you answer that now? Well, I think uh, you can build a corpus depending on how much you invest. Right. If you want more, you can invest more in this and you can definitely get more corpus. Right, Moiz Bhai. See you. Take care. God bless you. Okay, run out of time on this show. Thanks very much, Heman, for coming by as always and uh, sharing your thoughts and advice with our viewers. We wrap up this edition of Talk Funds. Of course, we'll be back tomorrow, 240 points down. That's where we are leaving the market with one hour to go. Countdown coming up next with Priyanka.